This is the third video clip in a series funded by Innovate UK and BBSRC as part of the Limousin Female Fertility and Calf Survival Project. Estimated breeding values and genomic breeding values, EBVs and GBVs, both predict how much of an animal's performance is down to its environment and how much is down to its genetic merit. The breeding values produced are estimates of the genetic contribution, since this is the only element that an animal can pass on to its progeny, and therefore the only element that is of value to a producer. EBVs use pedigree information and performance records collected on-farm in their calculation. GBVs are calculated from information from an animal's DNA. More information on this can be viewed in the online clip titled, What are Limousin Genomic Breeding Values? Albeit EBVs and GBVs are produced in slightly different ways, they are both indicators of genetic merit and the way they are used shouldn't differ. So what do the EBVs and GBVs predict? EBVs and GBVs are now produced for 22 different traits. These are all traits associated with animals' economic performance and can be categorised as follows. Calving traits, for example calving ease, gestation length and birth weight. Carcass traits, such as growth at various stages, age to slaughter, carcass weight and individual carcass cuts. Maternal and female fertility traits, examples of these are maternal calving ease, age at first calving and calving interval. And some wider traits that are more associated with fitness for purpose, scrotal circumference for example, which is linked to male and female fertility and docility. The EBVs and GBVs that are relevant to most types of herd are presented at Breed Society sales. They are displayed in both sale catalogues and on cards above animals in their pens in a bar chart format. The centre line on this chart represents the breed average for each trait. Bars that lie to the right of the centre line indicate the GBV is above breed average. The further to the right, the further above breed average it is. And in a similar way, bars that lie to the left of the centre line indicate the GBV is below breed average. The further to the left, the further below breed average it is. The numeric breeding values are also shown for producers who wish to quantify the benefit of an animal's particular value. In this example, this bull has a 400 day growth EBV of 87 kilos, which means it is estimated to be 87 kilos heavier at 400 days compared to a bull with an EBV of zero. Based on this, his calves would be expected to be 44 kilos heavier at that age when compared to calves by a bull with an EBV of zero, since they only inherit half of their genes from their sire, the other half coming from the dam. Along with each EBV, the accuracy percentage is also shown in the catalogue and on the pen card. This indicates how much information has been used in the EBV or GEBV calculation, and the closer it is to 100, the more accurate is the prediction. As a rule of thumb, EBVs and GBVs with accuracies beyond 70% can be considered reasonably robust and typically less subject to change than those with accuracies lower than this. In addition to EBVs and GBVs, several breeding indexes are produced for limousine cattle. These take different EBVs and GBVs and, using their relative economic values, group them together into one single breeding value. For example, the beef value comprises the growth EBVs, muscle depth, fat depth EBV and calving ease EBV. The retail value comprises the six carcass cut GBVs, fillet, strip loin, top side, silver side, rump and knuckle. The maternal value comprises longevity, age at first calving, 200 day milk weight, maternal calving ease and calving interval. And finally the calving value combines gestation length and calving ease. If using these index values to select your animals, it is important to be sure that you are interested in the traits that contribute to them. So which EBV and GBV trait should be considered? This is different for all herds, so it is important to decide the traits that will make you the most profit and what your anticipated end market is. There is no point in buying a bull that doesn't have the genetics that can meet your expectations. You may also need to consider your farm type and your feed and labour availability and the areas of strong and weak herd performance, both physical and financial. And a final consideration should also be the effect of your decisions on other traits. Is your desire for growth in muscling, for example, coming at too great a cost for calving ease and maternal performance? EBV and GBV information can be found for individual animals at pedigree sales in catalogues and on pen cards. 
The Limousin Pedigree Database has full information on all registered animals and can also be used to search for those that may meet your specific requirements. To access this, go to the Limousin Society website, limousin.co.uk, and select Basco Online Herdbook. The breeders and owners of Limousin cattle will also be able to assist you. Thank you for watching and please get in touch through the Limousin Society office or website if you have any query.